So in any course, if you come, let me close these so it looks like it. If you come down here on the left to Packages and Utilities, you have Export and Archive course. So this is a course I'm teaching right now. Um, and you can see the dates when I've archived the course that, uh, you know, I just got it going. It's for summer one, so on May 10th. And then each time I make additions to the course or do a session of grading, I add in, um, I export and archive the course as well. So what that means is uh, I have a record outside of Blackboard that's on my computer of everything that's in the course. So if something, if Blackboard totally crashed or whatever, I would have all the information. So each time I come here to export package, and then I come down here and select all the course materials, because I want to save everything that's in there. So I can do submit. And then with archive course, I click right here. And I always want to include the Grade Center history so that uh, keeps all the material that I've added for grading students that's separate from the course information. So I do submit. Um, okay, so we can see here that the export file has come through. Click refresh. And sometimes it takes a little while for that um, archive file to come through because it has the grade information and especially if students have uploaded documents or files like I think they do with your assignment sometimes, uh, it might take a few minutes for that to show up. Um, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so right now it did show up, so today's the 20th, and what you can do is click on this little option right here to open it. And then I just have uh, my master archive of, you know, this is the course I'm working with right now, but with all my past semesters of the different courses. Um, and so then I can just save this zip file. Uh, I'll just do it right in here. And then I'm saving my archive file to the same place. So this is good for backup. I always love to back things up. Um, I'm, prob I'm sure you have a good um, backup protocol as well. But also what this means is when I teach this course again the next semester, that if I go to Blackboard, the registrar puts in the course, but it's just basically an empty shell. But what I can do is um, down here, where it says import package, say I'm in my new course, I can go to import package. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess up this course, but I can click right here and import my file that I exported from the previous course. I, I think that makes sense. Anyway, let me know if you have questions. Um, but the main thing, if you hadn't done it, I really wanted you to go in and uh, export and archive your course uh, just so you have it for the future. Hope that was helpful. Take care.